Okay, 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 okay. Time for video number five. And uh, just like the movies, I always like to save the best for last. Welcome to the new Fujinon 35mm F2. Now, um, there were only three Fuji lenses that I had not tested. I tested this one out a couple weeks ago. Uh, one was a 16 millimeter Fuji, and uh, two others were uh, telephoto Fujis, one of which was the 55 to 200. Um, I have since now tested and uh, reviewed uh, personally all Fuji lenses except for the 16 millimeter. Now, let's take a look at this lens. Highest recommendation when I actually tested it out, I think it was like uh, 12 days ago. Um, from another person who gathered one up in New York, I was absolutely shocked. Um, it's no wonder that uh, also my favorite lens, the best lens that I have in the whole world, and it's not personal preference, um, objectively it's the best lens, that would be the Zeiss 35mm f2, um, Nikon, their uh, Nikkor D series, which is a low element count lens, their 35mm f2, is also very cheap and exquisite. Um, there is something, and I made a video about it before, and I'll make another one about why the 35mm f2, regardless of who makes it, is uh, almost a magical uh, aperture and a focal length uh, for uh, cameras, be it 35mm or DSLR. But this one really stands out. Um, it blows the hell out of the current 35mm f1.4. As it turns out, here it is right here. It's a lot tinier. It's faster. It's smaller. It's sharper. It's weather resistant. That's what the WR stands for. Um, weather sealed. Weather resistant, of course, is what it really means is that uh, it is uh, sealed against invasive short-term weather, not pervasive weather. No lens is sealed against pervasive weather or long-term invasive weather. Um, it is cheaper than the 35mm f1.4. Currently, uh, the 35mm f1.4 is on sale for $450, but usually it's $600. This lens is $399. This is, Fuji's really outdone themselves on this lens. Um, it is insanely fast. It's deadly quiet. It has better edge sharpness. It does not seek on focus. If you don't get this lens, you are stupid. Just flat out stupid. Here it is. Take a look at it. It's all metal. It's made in Japan. The 35mm F2. Absolutely a must have Fuji lens. Like I said, it does. Now, this isn't uh, my premise. There have actually been a few reviews that have come out recently, about three or four um, from hardcore Fuji users that are very, very well familiar with the 35mm f1.4 and they state unequivocally in several different uh, attributes and criteria this 35mm f, uh, f2 uh, beats and blows the hell out of the 35mm f2 uh, 35mm f1.4 and I wholeheartedly agree it is a lot faster in autofocus, it does not hunt in uh, low light uh, like the 35mm f1.4, it's a lot smaller, it's a lot cheaper, it's got better bokeh or bokeh Tomato, tomato, depending on what you want to, how you want to pronounce it. It says weather uh, resistant, unlike the 35 millimeter f1 point, a 35 millimeter f1.4. Now, I do not consider 35 millimeter even an APS-C crop sensor um, equivalent focal to be a portrait lens. Now, if you actually think that you need a lens that is not as sharp, and at f2. The 35mm f1.4 is definitely not as sharp as this new lens uh, from Fuji. And uh, if you think you need that for portraiture, but by all means, grab it. Um, however, I had it on borrow for about three days, and I was not impressed with it. But that is absolutely not the case with this lens. I actually, after using this uh, 12 or 13 days ago, I knew I had to buy it immediately. And uh, that's not gear acquisition syndrome. It was one of those uh, aha lenses that uh, I knew immediately. And there are very few of those. I mean, I have a crap load of lenses. And I've had a crap load of lenses pass through my hands over the decades. This is one of those very, very few lenses that I knew 
having a couple of Fujis, that not owning this was akin to an immortal sin. It is really that good of a lens, and I state that objectively, rather than you thinking, well, that's just your subjective premise about the lens, you love it, or it's focal. No, that's not the case. It really, really is that good. So this wraps up the five video series. I'm going to be adding a six, since now I've tested all the Fuji uh, telephoto lenses adding a sixth lens to this and it will be a zoom telephoto Fuji and that's going to be the limit of what I buy um, so it's going to be six lenses total but this is a video five out of the five video series but I'll be adding a telephoto lens next week now that I've tested them all but I cannot state again people will say oh you're repeating yourself well listen again okay this lens is way faster in autofocus. It is damn sharper. Not my premise. It is sharper. The saturation on it, the depth rendition, it is superior in virtually, it is superior in every way unless, you're, unless you need a 35 millimeter focal um, for a portraiture and you absolutely need that additional stop at f1.4. This lens is superior, cheaper, faster, sharper, better in every way, shape, and form to 35mm f1.4, which is introduced back in 2012, to then to this lens. So you really, if you're considering 35mm, do not consider, unless you absolutely need that additional stop for portraiture, do not consider the 35mm f1.4. Get this lens. It is that damn much better. I absolutely assure you, there will not be a single person that replies to this video that says, well, I took your recommendation and I bought this 35mm f2 f lens off your recommendation and uh, I'm unhappy or I don't agree. There will not be a single person that will state that below. Someone might post it as a joke, but there will not be a single honest person that states below that this lens is not superior in every way, shape, or form or that you're unhappy with this lens. Absolutely exquisite. Let's uh, remove uh, the 27 millimeter here of the Fuji X-T1 and place it on, place the 35 F2 on. I do have a filter on here currently. I probably should have taken it off before showing in this video. Not that it really makes any damn difference. I assume that you could see that a Hoya multi-coated uh, filter I have in the front of this lens. It does come with a little chamois. Uh, it's a little uh, container cloth that you can slip your lens in, and it does come with this uh, plastic lens hood right here. Um, I'm using a different one, a metal lens hood. So here's the profile of the uh, Fuji uh, XF35 F2 RWR on the Fuji X-T1. So you can knock off an additional 5 millimeters for that Hoya filter. Um, You notice that and if I switch uh, to preview, it's quiet. Do you notice that? Let me switch back. A lot quieter in preview. A lot quieter in autofocus. That's something else I forgot to mention as compared to most other Fuji lenses and especially the 35mm f1.4. So this is the lens to get um, on a rating of 1 to 10. I give it 11. It's top recommended lens by me for your Fuji. Um, this is not a good lens. This is not an excellent lens. I would call this lens the tits. <laughs> I love to uh, be both logical and humorous at the same time. And uh, that is really where this lens sits on the spectrum. Not just as, you know, where it sits in the Fuji spectrum of glass. But if this were a Nikon lens of the exact same form factor, you know, uh, that had autofocus capabilities, say Nikon all of a sudden lost their mind and started making Fuji autofocus lenses. You know, it, not just in the Fuji um, line of uh, lenses, but uh, objectively, this lens really is that damn good. So, I think I've said it enough. I've made myself clear. And uh, as I've said before, uh, some opinions are worth better than others, and uh, opinions are like a-holes, everybody has one, and all of them stink. But I have given you an objective review of this lens. If you want to go take a look at some of the test shots, go over to Flickr for this lens. You can see countless hundreds of people's uh, pictures of this lens, uh, although not that many since the lens just came out. But I cannot recommend this lens any higher, and this is the highest recommendation of the five Fuji lenses that I've recommended in this five-part series. 
And uh, like I said, now I have uh, tested all Fuji lenses except for the 16mm, uh, which I'm not really interested in. That's why I never really uh, itched to test it. But this lens is a must-have. Thanks for watching. Catch you later. Okay?